Hi and hello, welcome to Salsa Classes. Continuing with the lecture series of oxidation reactions, today we are going to discuss the Desmartin for iodinein oxidation reaction. It is usually prepared by the oxidation of two iodobenzoic to form the IBX. Okay. Followed by the acetylation of the IBX to the desmartin per iodine re reagent that is the DMP. So this is how it is occurring. We can use either KBrO3 in presence of H2SO4 or the ozone. The quantity is given over here. So using two iodobenzoic acid and this leads to the formation of the IBX. Okay. And that when treated with the acetic acid in presence of acetic anhydride or acetic anhydride in presence of toxic acid leads to the formation of DMP. Now DMP will lie in equilibrium with this particular structure. What are the advantages of using DMP over the convex, conventional oxidizing reagents for alcohols? It is a mild reagent. Okay, that means if you can use this reagent in room temperature and neutral pH. It has a very high chemo selectivity, has high tolerance for sensitive functional groups or complex substrates. The long shelf life and thermal stability is there which we are not going to see in a case of an IBX, which has been found to be somewhat an explosive. So the DMP, when it is treated with the one degree alcohol leads to the formation of an aldehyde. When a two degree alcohol is used, it leads to the formation of a ketone. And when we are using an oxime, it also leads to the formation of a ketone. Let us have a look at the mechanism over here. So this is the DMP and over here we can see we have a 2 degree alcohol. So once the OH group of the alcohol will make a nucleophilic attack on the positive charge, positively charged iodine, uh, one can think the removal of the H and the molecule acetic acid is going out. And so this particular diacetoxy alkoxy pyridinoin is formed over here and the acetate that is there within the equilibrium mixture is now going to act as a base and it will take up the proton over here and the bond ch will be cleaved which then leads to the formation of the c double bond o releasing the ketone molecule from here and also one acetate and we have the iodinane formed along with the release of the desired product of the carbonyl compound. What other uses we can have of DMP oxidation? Here is a list of it. So we are saying besides the conversion of alcohol to carbonyl, the DMP oxidation was successfully utilized for the oxidation of functional groups for which traditional mild oxidants fail to work. What is it? Allylic alcohols to alpha beta unsaturated carbonyls. Cleavage of aldoxemes or ketoxemes to aldehydes and ketones. The N acyl hydroxylamines to N to acyl nitroso compounds. Four substituted anilides to paraquinones. Beta amino alcohols to alpha amino aldehydes without remember epimerization no epimers are formed over here beta delta unsaturated aromatic amides to complex heterocycles okay it will be difficult to take up all the examples in this discussion mode so we will be using only few okay another fact the reaction is effective for substrates in which the carbonyl products are sensitive to apmerization. So obviously we are 
talking about molecules which are mostly sugars okay elimination or rearrangement in addition amines and thioethers are also tolerated so they are not undergoing any oxidation so no n oxides or s oxides formed over here using this reagent wonderful so let's take a few examples as we can see dmp with sodium bicarbonate low temperature only one hour wow so we can see it is undergoing oxidation of one degree alcohol to this out here we have a pi bond also a furan ring and we have a two degree alcohol undergoing oxidation to ketone we have two sugar units derivatized sugar units joined over here and we are using the dmp reagent and over here this particular oh which is not protected or benzylated it will be undergoing oxidation to form the own out here this particular molecule having pi bonds or this type of an aline system these are not going to get undergoing to or undergoing any oxidation over here but selectively only this particular secondary alcohol group undergoes oxidation to ketone out here this molecule is undergoing oxidation to ketone the in here too this remains untouched and the oh group is oxidized to form the aldehyde similarly over here the pi bonds remain untouched and this one will be converted to the aldehyde nothing happens to the pyrrole group okay or the pi bonds of the pyrrole group and the oh group is oxidized to aldehyde the epoxides are not affected by the dmp or nothing happens uh, in regards to ring opening of the epoxides so they are, they are tolerated over here and we can have the oxidation of the oh group and formation of the aldehyde similarly no oxidation of the nh group so no n oxides are formed however the secondary all is oxidized to the ketone allylic alcohols are oxidized to their aldehydes or ketones using the reagent out here so in the next lecture we'll be taking up the jones reagent thanks for listening keep visiting sarasa classes for other lectures on oxidation reactions this is dr rudu sarkar saying goodbye have a great day